Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of July. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the month of July. What do we got for Taurus? We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. What do we have for Taurus? The world! Uh, who else had this? Pisces? So, uh, yeah. So we have the world. We have, this is a whole new world. Something, this, something could happen right around the eclipse. Just saying. Looks like we got kind of, kind of looks like an eclipse here. So something could happen. There's a, there's something coming to an end, right? I mean, this is a, a major completion in your life. Something big. Okay. So you are about to experience a major completion in your life. <laughs> You're about to, you know, travel to a whole new destination. And because I did it for Pisces, I'm going to do it for you. Walking away. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's leaving. Not waiting anymore. I'm leaving. It's a time of personal freedom. So somebody, you know, that's what, that, is that a butterfly or a bird? Could be a fairy. Could be whatever you want it to be. But anyway, I see it as freedom. So we got freedom. We got freedom, Taurus. Something is coming. Major life lesson has been learned. Something is coming to an end. Something big. Completion. Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Destined change of course. Destiny, this is a lucky break. This is good fortune. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your destiny. The wheel is spinning in your favor. Somebody walking away from you, or you walking away from them, is going to bring you something good. It's meant to be. It happened for a reason. There's a reason. One significant, very, very, very significant phase in your life is coming to an end. Something good is coming. This is good luck. This is also a card of, this is a card of angel protection. So you guys, you are going, you guys are about to start a, 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 new, a new chapter. And that is no joke. Nine of Pentacles. Perfect. Abundance. Wealth. You could be receiving money. A big payout of some sort. She got an owl on her hand. By golly, she does. Owl is the form of highest intuitive wisdom. It's a, it's, it's, it's a symbol of change. It's a symbol of death and rebirth. It really, it is. We have a very wise individual who, you know, may be receiving guidance from a wise individual. Who knows? But this is change. And this is change. And this is change. So you guys may be going your own way. Okay, you may you may be just going your own way, like on your own. I'm going on my own. I'm taking the high road. I'm going my own way. I have the skills. This is somebody who is very self-sufficient, living the good life. This person is is ready for whatever 
world, the world, that's funny, I wasn't even looking at that card either, I was looking over here, whatever the world throws at them, this person is ready. So we have a very abundant, successful individual who, you know, is about to go through a major change with that owl and these two cards. It's big, 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 big. You could be receiving money from somebody. That's an inheritance or a gift of money, a, a raise, a big payout of some sort. This is good fortune as well. So your, if your money has been, if you've been struggling financially, I think it's going to change. Eight of wands reversed. There could be some jealousy around you, so be careful. There could be some jealousy. Now this is also a card of, you know blocking or feeling guilty about something somebody may be feeling guilty I don't know this is jealousy as well feeling guilty not communicating blocking communication not moving forward something putting the brakes on a situation queen of swords reversed Ooh. Well, let's get some more cards now this person is lonely and may not be open to any kind of relationship just wants to be alone yeah we could have somebody here that is blocking any kind of communication from somebody you know maybe this, maybe we got some bitterness or some some resent or somebody that is upset somebody could be upset over something you know three of cups reverse it could be a loss you could experience a loss of some sort, a loss of a relationship or a loss of a friendship because somebody's jealous. Oh, be careful. You could have somebody who is jealous of you and they're bitter and they're resentful. I don't know who this is. Could be any sign. This represents Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it could be any sign. This is a bitter, resentful person who... You know, maybe they were a friend or a lover or who knows what. And they're jealous of your abundance. They're jealous of your, you know, transformation. Because owl is a symbol of death. Death is a symbol of transformation. So I think that you have are going through a transformation. You may lose some friends along the way. Or you may get to figure out who your friends really are. If you're doing really, really good, somebody may, you know not have the best of intentions just be careful that you may get some sort of fortune or something or what i'm not saying that you will but you may this is good luck okay so you know you may get something and you know you might find out exactly who your friends are hang hey, man this is, this is uh confusion stuck struggling resisting change sacrificing somebody is sacrificing themselves they're in a state of suspension you may have blocked somebody could be you know, I don't know who this is but this represents Pisces and this is blocked and this is jealousy so I don't know if you I hate to say it if you I don't I, I really don't want to be sign specific but this does represent the sign of Pisces so I'm not sure what and that Pisces had that as well and then we have the king of Pentacles in reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn so you have Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yikes. Now the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody who is ruthless. Somebody that may spend their money. Somebody that doesn't save money. Somebody that focuses too much on money. Somebody who does things illegally to obtain money. This is somebody who is very greedy, selfish, stubborn, uh, controlling, manipulative. Any sign. These cards can represent any sign. <laughs> the moon. This is the moon card. Which represents Pisces. Pisces and Cancer. So, this is the truth coming out. Some sort of truth, some sort of revelation is something that has been hidden is going to come to light. Now, this doesn't this could be a man or a woman. This shows a woman on the card. And we have a woman up here. So, but we have this man here. So, 
You could have somebody. It could be a family member. It could be a friend or somebody who's not really your friend. You're, there's going to be some sort of jealousy or altercation, I believe, with somebody who is greedy. Look at that. Look at there's despair, worry, anguish. And there are some regrets. You may be experience some re experiencing some regrets. Or the person you're dealing with. It could go vice versa. Somebody is regretting something. They are. We're going to have to get a clarifier. Forget that. They are regretting. They're, they're, they're in complete anguish and despair over loss of stability, loss of money. You could be dealing with a bitter individual who is not happy with your status. Just, I, got, I hate to give you that message. I really do. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, financial up, uproar. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. That sounds real fun. So, yeah, there's some financial chaos is what there is here. You're probably going to be trying to find balance. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and you're going to have to be flexible here. I think you got a person that, in your scenario, whatever this scenario is, that is not going to be happy with your abundance, your transformation, your status. And I think they're going to, you know, try to put a brakes, put the brakes on you, or they're going to try to. Um, they're going to cause you some stress. And I hate to give you that message. I hate to give I hate to even hear this message. Put it that way. Anyway, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. Okay. You are doing fine. I think that, you know, down here, down here, this is the approach. The approach is to adapt. Be flexible. Try to be flexible. Try to adapt. This is change to this change. Yes, change. This is some sort of change that, you know, I think is, you're doing well with this change, but somebody on the outside is not doing well with your change. Okay? So they're going to come in and cause you some strife because they're not happy. So, you know, you know, maybe you just need to walk away. Maybe, maybe you need to walk away from this person, whoever this person is. Try to be flexible, okay? Just try to be flexi flexible. Um, three of Swords. This is painful. I was I was clarifying this Nine of Swords. You got some some heartache here. You you got some pain. So you got somebody that is wanting to hurt you. Look at this. We got somebody that here that wants to hurt you. I'm sorry. And I don't mean literally. They want to hurt you. So they, they're, you got somebody who is very upset. They're very jealous. Probably that, you know, the Six of Pentacles clarifying this up here. They didn't receive what they thought they were going to receive. Or, or they, you know, were rejected. Maybe you rejected them. I don't know. I don't know. Because this is a rejection. You, you're going to have to be on your toes be on your toes because you're dealing with somebody who has two faces. This person is two-faced. So really, you know, be grounded, be realistic, protect yourself. You could be dealing with an emperor. I know this is the Ten of Pentacles, but this is the emperor's seat, so you could be dealing with an Aries. But this is this is the completion this is like a completion of a legacy completion of a family relationship this is um this probably has to do with your family this could be a family member and it's funny that i said that earlier i don't know if this is a family member but this is a completion that affects your family it affects your establishment it affects your home if it it, it it affects your heritage in some way Okay, so whatever this completion is, 
you know, it has to do with money, it has to do with abundance, and it has to do with wealth. So, you know, I think that your wealth is increasing, Taurus, and I think we got somebody who is not happy with that, and they may want to um, be careful. They may, they, they're, they'll cut you. They'll do whatever they got to do to get what they want, okay? This person is watching. This person is high energy. This person doesn't care whose toes they step on. You're going to receive a message from somebody that you don't want to hear. Put it put it that way. There's going to be some conflict this month. And I, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a Taurus. You know that. I'm Taurus. Oh, God. The end. The end. There's a loss here of some sort. Betrayal. Um, deception. Um, this is breaking free. This is liberation. This is liberation. So I feel like the worst, this too shall pass, and you will be broken free from this scenario, and you will prosper. You will prosper. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, whatever this is. You got somebody here that's watching you. The star card reversed. They don't. They see you as everything, right? They see you as everything. And I think they're very unhappy with the current circumstances. We got somebody here that it may be self-loathing. They, they may, um, or they want to they dim your light in some way. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. That's all, that's all I can say is protect yourself. They don't want you to be happy. That really sucks. It's like you stole their wish fulfillment in some way. Interesting. Magician. You have the power now. It's like you've been given the power. The power is in your hands. And you have somebody here who's not happy about it. And that's all I, I mean. I know exactly what this is. And I don't know who it is in my life. But I'm saying that I know that that's what this is. You've got somebody here that wants to take the power out of your hands for some reason. It's like you are the magician at this time. It's like you have all the power. You have all the resources. It's like the resources have been given to you. You've manifested something. You have manifested something. Four of Wands. Happiness. This is a happy home life. This is, there could be some commitment that you, I mean, some. there could be a commitment coming into your life. But I was going to say there could be a gathering, but this is, I said commitment. You may, you may go to some sort of gathering where you find a commitment. You find somebody that can make you really happy if you're single. This is an opportunity for extreme happiness right here. So you, if you are single, you could meet somebody. Or if, if you are in a couple relationship, you could be going to some sort of gathering with this person that wants to hurt you. So beware. Beware. This pain, that if you are single, this could go so many ways. I could read this, this these cards all day long. If if you are single, you 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 know, and you've been stressing and you've been worried and you've been reeling from some sort of painful separation and your heart is broken, you you could meet somebody. You can meet somebody that, you know, has the power to help you heal. You know, has the power to help you heal. Um, this person could be your twin. Oh God, I hate to say that word, but I just happened to see it. You know, so you could, <laughs> I don't know why those words come out of my mouth, but anyway, um, be careful because you got somebody here that is not happy with your status and they're probably jealous of you. The power is in your hands. You've manifested something. You've manifested wish fulfillment and somebody is jealous. You're about, your luck is about to change for the better. That is the very first card. Whatever, your luck is about to change. And I think that you are about to... Uh, 
magically come together with somebody that <laughs> I can't help it is your twin uh yeah that's all I can say so that's what I got I got I can't I can't make this up so I'd like to but I can't good luck bye